My name is Neely Lawson, and I am a United States missionary working with college ministry. And if you'd asked me as a child what I wanted to do with my life or what I dreamed of being, a missionary is probably one of the last things that would have been on my list. I really give a lot of credit to my brother. He, I have a brother who's two years older than I am, and really so much of who I am is built on who he is. He started to connect with a church whenever we were, whenever he was about 15 years old, and so he took me everywhere that he went. And so my, the majority of my four years of high school um, were spent with him, which the majority of his time was spent in the church. They say that 80% of students who love the Lord in high school walk away when they come to college, and that was my story. That was my statistic. Uh, I absolutely was uninterested. Everything about my life revolved around where I was going to be in four years, and that was going to be getting my doctorate degree. That was always the plan. There was no plan B. There was just a plan A. My dad, being his very passionate self, once he um, caught wind that I was interested in that, he amplified it by just talking it up and encouraging me and taking me to the vet just to tour the facilities on his days off and all of those things. And so he really influenced, I think, the level of excitement I had for that to be my future. I rode horses growing up, but I never felt like I fit into that crowd. I never felt country. Um, always kind of felt out of place. And I think a lot of it came from I started to travel whenever I was about 13. I started to see a lot of the world. And so my perspective of the world was not just Dixon County. And so many of the people that lived in that county, that really was their only window of the world. That was their only perspective. And so I just never felt like I filled in. My freshman year of college, I went on my first backpacking trip ever, where you have all of your supplies in a backpack and you take them and you hike. We took three days to do it, and I thought I was going to die. Like Looking back, I was not a hiker at all, and I hated my life every step of that trip. I hated it, but coming home, I felt like it was the most successful thing I'd ever done. I felt like hiking those 13 miles made me feel so much more alive, so much more successful and accomplished than 12 years of studying had ever done for me. And so um, I just started to become very interested in outdoors, began to surround myself with people that loved the outdoors, and we are a product of the people we surround ourselves with. So I have a handful of friends that they live and breathe the outdoors, and so that's kind of what I became. Coming out of my junior year, I had a summer where I traveled for two months solid. I didn't have any goals except for to figure out my life. I couch surfed and hopped around with different family and made it across 13 different states and was just determined that that trip was going to lead me somewhere different. I was just gonna run away from the stress of my future. And so I traveled for those two months, but the further I traveled and the more I saw and the more people I met, the more I felt just this deep connection to come back to this city where I live now and just felt like I was stretching a rubber band that was not ready to break. Whenever I decided to do ministry, the first pushback I had in my heart was, no, like this is what I want to do with my life. I want to go to vet school. And then I felt like I was challenged because I'd never asked Jesus what he wanted with my life. People ask me all the time, like, what are you going to do with this ministry thing? And um, I feel like Jesus is asking me for a year at a time. And that's so hard because I'm a planner. Like, I had a 10-year plan from whenever I was four years old. You know, like, I am a planner. And so for him to ask me for one year at a time, just to live, so, it just forces me to live so present and to live um, in pursuit of very, like, the, today's passion, not five years from now. Looking down the barrel of forever um, is something I've kind of stopped doing. I used to do that in high school. You just get caught in this mental state of, I need to know where I'm going to be this time next year. I need to know where I'm going to be in five years or where I'm going to be in 10 years or 20 or et cetera, et cetera. But what I've learned in surrendering to ministry is that sometimes 
Jesus allows us to walk through areas of our life without maybe them having any place in our life in the future. So I have this degree in biology and chemistry and there is not a single part of me at this point in my life that believes I'm going to use it for any specific purpose. And I am so okay with that.